Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and apologies for my quality here. I'm not in my studio, but that doesn't stop me from delivering the important news to all of you, and this one's important. And i got to speak to my YouTube human reviewer, as I always do. I'm not going to talk about anything against my guidelines. This is strictly about donation history of Miss Amber, specifically. And did she not donate as she said she would? Look, I've heard this around and I was always a little bit like, I'll make sure we get some information before I run this story. Uh, but I got to give props to this article. So uh, again, apologies for the quality, uh, but ho hopefully you're going to be looking at this more than you're looking at me because I really want to get through this article. Now, look, the headline is a little triggering for some. I I'm not going to get into the political part of this. Some people may see the headline and agree. Others will go, ah, oh, but, but I apologize. Ignore the headline and let's get to the meat of this article where Carla here and props to Carla, uh, Carla gets in and gives really specific information that I, I want to share with you that really sort of shows maybe Amber didn't actually give her donation that she promised. Now, for those that don't know, uh, she proclaimed in 2017 that she would be donating all of her money, all of her $7 million in the divorce settlement from Johnny Depp to two charities, the Children's Hospital of LA, uh, of LA, uh, Los Angeles, CHLA, and the American Civil Liberty Union, uh, which is, you know, fights uh, legal funds and stuff. Uh, this was stipulated in the divorce settlement between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. So therefore, legally required of her to actually do it, and now people have been suspecting, did she actually do it? Now, here's the paragraph I really want to focus on. And again, Carla, props to you for getting this in there because this shocked me. So if you go to the CHL's official donors honor roll, which I have right here, they list all of their donors from 2006. And if we go into, say, let's look at 2017, okay? This is the honor roll of friends. Now, what's really interesting about this is if you've donated more than a million dollars, you are in what they call right here uh, the life, the honor roll of donors. Uh, and so you're in this sort of lifetime uh, pass of people who have given a million dollars or more, as one should, because that proves you're very generous. So if we go here and we look for Miss Amber Heard, there she is. She's... They are saying she donated. Now, this was in 2017. Now, if we go to their 2018 honor roll and we search for Miss Amber Hurt, she's there again. Uh, so when the announcement happened and through 2018, uh, it seemed like the it seemed like this was, you know, given. In fact, the media was very, uh, you know, all about showing that she's following through with her promise uh, in these articles written in 2017 and 2018. She followed through on her promise, uh, notice it, showing the same document. I'm showing that they'd listed her as a donor. Uh, and in fact, the ACLU did the same thing. Notice all this positive press that she gets. Uh, she announced yesterday she will give the ACLU half of her $7 million settlement. Uh, but, but, but here's the important. She will. We are incredibly grateful that as she's been so generously uh, shown her support for this important advocacy of things here for DV. Uh, and so uh, seemingly like, all right, I, I don't like Amber, but okay. She at least did that. She at least was a, a person of her word regarding that. However, when we go to 2019, what's very interesting here is we search for Miss Amber, zero results found. And I, I'm not messing up. I've, I've gone through and I've triple checked this. I've gone through the donors here, 1,000, and they're all here except for her. Now, what's interesting is let's go to 2020, which just got re released. Let's see if she's in the uh, 2020 register. Maybe there was a mistake last year, guys. Let's check it out. Hmm, zero of zero. She's not there, guys. Let, let me go full screen for you so you can fully appreciate. I guess it doesn't make much of a difference. Full screening, she's not there. What? Like what? Now, again... Maybe she called and removed her name. Doesn't seem like her, does it? <laughs> Doesn't seem like her. Uh, but where did it go? She's there for two years as, you know, clearly seemingly did it. And now they remove her name from their lifetime donors list. Hmm. So uh, just to really hit this home, let's go back to 2018, okay? If we go back to 2018 and we go to the list of uh, donors here, uh, let's, let's find her, right? We go back here and go, okay, so there she is. Okay, uh, she's there in, in the donations of uh, right here of uh, five. She's in the five. Oh, they, they say she's in the five million range. Am I reading that right? Oh, sorry. The one million to four million. There you go. So she's in the one million range. So let's let's look up some of these names, shall we? Let's look up. Uh, I, I, you know what? Let's go back to 2017 because then we'll really get a better idea. These are the 2017 donors. And here she is. She's on this list. Uh, Miss Sear. Let, let's just uh, randomly. Let's look up uh, Ronald Burke. Okay, I'm copying Ronald Burke, and I'm going to 2020. Let's search for Ronald Burke. Oh, there he is. Okay, 
So he he still gets his donation. All right. Now we go back. Let's let's just try a couple more. Just just so you understand what's going on. Let's look up Bob and Sammy Friedman, gracious donators to an amazing cause. Okay, they're not there. Let's look up Sammy. Oh, Sammy's there. Sammy's there. And Bob's there. Maybe uh, they oh, they're there twice. Okay, so there I was worried there for a second, but nope, uh, they're also there. Let's look up uh, Alexander Cohen. The foundation here. Let's see. Did they hold up on their end of the bargain? Uh, let's search for them. Hold on. I, I put a weird character. Oh, yep. They did. Steven and Alexander. They're there. They're there again. Uh, let's look up. Uh, who's? Uh, is there really like a random name? I just want to. How about George Huber here? Again, the amazingly generous George Huber. Let's see. Did he follow up on his donation? He did. Take out the mister. <laughs> He's there. Guys, this is crazy. This is crazy. So what does that mean? Does that mean she didn't actually follow through as she as all this all of this stuff that, that's out there that sort of always keeps reminding us how generous she is? She didn't even do it? Like that's insane. What kind of person does that? What kind of person promises charity and then gives it to said charity, seemingly, and then takes it back? Now look, again, uh, what's interesting about this case is we're going to find out because he's now uh, he's put it out there, and and they she's the lawyers, um, and so I, I, back to Carla's article to really get to this more specifically. Her name's missing. Uh, they've never issued a correction. More details are sure to emerge during his upcoming uh, trial against her, especially uh, if, he, if she ever up complies with the court-issued subpoena seeking said information, uh, which they she now has to do. Uh, she now has to put this out. Now, apparently, uh, her lawyers fought hard in the courts during the uh, the other cases to maintain this missing donation information and all associated financial records. They wanted to keep it all hidden. Uh, why? Why would you keep your donation hidden? I mean, that's strange to me. Wouldn't you want to? I did it. Yeah, I'm a man. I'm a woman of my word. Of course, I donated it. I, I public. Everyone publicly knows because it it's part of my settlement. I'm not going to be like one of those donors who's quiet about it. No, you did it. You publicly did it, and you got press for it. You had your PR team make press for it, and now it's gone. And you're not clarifying for us. Now, two years now, she's not going to clarify for us. Uh, this is insane. So she's now, you know, as, as Carla says here, great. Uh, sanctioned for their ludicrous attempt to uphold Amber's double role as both self-promoting hype woman and privacy role model. Uh, she's expected to produce her donation receipts as per court order, something a person who actually made such a generous and selfless contribution should have no problem doing and should have fought hard and should never have fought hard to keep hidden in the first place. As of right now, those receipts are still missing and Heard has produced nothing. Um <sighs> This is crazy, and I love what Carla says here because she's spot on. This, like, all the all the pieces that are out there trying to knock Johnny down, and no reporter, that reporter from the Hollywood Reporter, didn't care to like ask or look into this a little bit. There's so much on the other side that could have been asked and put out there, and she didn't. She said the tapes were edited. She said so many things that were ridiculous in the Hollywood hit piece, and no one's asking these questions. The media has it for her, for Amber, and they're de they're, they're defending her, and they're not asking these specific questions of did you actually follow through in that settlement, and did you give your money to the donation to the donated groups that you promised you would. We deserve to know that. We deserve that because it speaks again to her character and why so many of us, human beings, not bots, are very frustrated because Johnny, I got to be careful using the V word, but Johnny is a V of DA, right? It's like we got to, we got to, we got to acknowledge that. And when men have that issue, no one wants to share it. We can't even talk about it. But it happens. It absolutely happens. And so this is infuriating to know that she's going to get this kind of press. Uh, and she's going to be able to get quotes like this, right? So here's what she said. Uh, uh, I want to pull this quote from The Blast where they, they, they got her quote. Sorry, my internet's a little slow, to, slow here. But she's, to, to wrap up here, this, we, can't, we can't ignore this final quote from her. Um, uh, sorry, just here we go. Uh, As described in the order, restraining order, divorce settlement, money played no role in me personally and never has, except to the extent that I could donate it to charity, and in doing so, hopefully help those less able to defend themselves. So what is it? Is that what happened? Is that what you did, Amber? Why are you hiding it from us? Where's the receipts? I'm a man who likes receipts. They saved my life. They brought me back and let me help me stand back up because a lot of people wouldn't have believed me without my receipts. Receipts are important. And if you're going to get press releases out there saying you're such a good person and doing all this amazing stuff, then 
deliver the receipts when it matters and tell us right now because we need to see them. Why are you off that, that donation list for two years running now? I mean, I, I see why the charities don't want to list come out and call out people who give in and don't give. That's not a good look for the charities. I understand, like, from a PR standpoint, those charities can be like, uh, excuse me, Amber never gave her money. I just promised. I mean, I feel like they should, but I can see from like a, you got to be careful because you got a lot of big donors. You don't want to start suddenly giving up information as to who actually gives and not because people will be afraid to give if something were to go wrong. And tra- like you do that privately, you reach out to her and be like, Hey, we never received this alert. Now the fact that they've gotten a court order, they absolutely should give that. And that should be, that's how it gets re- released to the public in that she used this as a press release. She used our Children's Hospital of LA as a press release to save her name and then didn't actually follow through and never gave us the money. And I wonder where that money went. Hmm, lawyers, maybe? <laughs> Imagine that. Johnny's lawyers paying to defend. Oh my God, it, it infuriates me. I feel so bad for him. This is so awful what's happening. Guys, what do you think? If you got more information on this topic or anything else, you know where to hit me up. A signal right down there uh, on social media. If you got stories, thanks to all of you who's forward this. Carla Bravo, I'll put the link to her full article because she gives you more. If you're still like Andy, Andy, why are you so justice for Johnny Depp? She gives you a lot of information that I can't get into as specifically here because YouTube doesn't let us. Certain keywords and things that'll limit the video, demonetize, etc. Um, and so for those of you who want to see that, click the link down below. Props to Carla. I wanted to be a signal boost to help get that article out there. Some of you may not like the politics in it, but ignore the politics for a moment and read the the facts in there uh, because she got in some very, very important facts that a lot of mainstream media won't. Uh, so bravo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. we got lots more coming. I'll be back in the studio soon. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you guys there. In the meanwhile, click on some of these other videos and make sure to hit that subscribe.